Low wage earners on Vancouver Island are paying close attention to what is happening in the Maritimes this year. In the new year, rather, both Newfoundland and New Brunswick have announced raises to their minimum wage up to $10 an hour. The minimum wage in this province is now the lowest in the country, $8 an hour. That after an eight-year freeze. Labour groups call it a national embarrassment. A News reporter Andrew Johnson has the story. He's live in Victoria tonight. Andrew? Eric, we visited a couple downtown Victoria small businesses today and found out they already pay several dollars above the minimum wage, which one of them agrees is too low. The toppings are flying at the joint pizzeria and the man with creative control is Jacob Halderson, who's been working here for two and a half years and started at $10 per hour. I wouldn't be living here anymore if I was making eight because I wouldn't be able to pay for my apartment. I can't remember the last time. At least five years ago, I stopped paying people minimum wage. Owner Jeff Hurry says his staff stick around longer and do a better job if he pays more. He thinks $8 an hour is too low, even though it would cost him less. I think it should be raised up. I don't know why it hasn't been raised up, the minimum wage. It's been frozen for, I don't even know, eight years? Now that's ridiculous. He's taking the words right out of Rob Fleming's mouth. The Victoria Swan Lake NDP MLA says the Campbell government is lagging way behind. British Columbia, even though it's the most expensive province in Canada in which to live, the cost of living here is in some cases 30 to 40 percent higher than other provinces. We now have the distinction under Gordon Campbell of having the lowest minimum wage uh, in the country. In the province's defense, Labor Minister Murray Cole says in a statement, at this time of economic uncertainty, it's of utmost importance to keep British Columbians working. Raising the minimum wage to $10 an hour could result in a loss of more than 50,000 jobs over the long term. I'm not buying that at all because uh, a lot of provinces with higher growth rates in British Columbia right now that are uh, weathering the recession uh, stronger than we are uh, have a significantly higher minimum wage. Hemingway Boutique's Tiffany Dobson, who also starts staff several dollars above the minimum, is worried a rise in BC's rate would still affect her wages. We're going to have to raise it as the minimum wage raises, so it's going to, you know, it kind of affects us as well as people who are just paying minimum wage. The Labour Minister also points out the average hourly wage for youth in BC is $13.18 per hour, third place in Canada, and consistent with what we heard today at Hemingway and the Joint, where perfecting a pie is worth more than the minimum. Eric, minimum wages across Canada range from BC's low of $8 per hour in the Northwest Territories at $8.25 to a high of $10.25, effective March 31st in Ontario. But our province says it has still done a lot for low-income earners and families since 2001, pointing to personal income tax rates that have been reduced by 37%. Andrew Johnson reporting. Thank you, Andrew. You're welcome.